the international pirate movement is represented in many countries across the globe. I want to talk about the future plans of pirate movement in Latvia. As of now, I, Edmunds Gulbis, am actually the only active pirate movement representative in Latvia. As far as I am aware, there are no other people who are active and who are actively doing something, who are actively contributing towards pirate policies, towards the pirate party movement in Latvia. Uh, this situation has been like that since seven years and um, during these seven years it has not changed. What has changed is the level of experience. Seven years ago I had a very limited understanding of how Latvian politics works. But already then I saw corruption as a problem. Back then it was very municipal oriented. It was very oriented towards Duobele municipality. As could clearly see corruption on a local level. Right now I can truly say that the entire Latvian state is deeply rotten, deeply infested by corruption. It's not just the political parties, it's also the police and it's also the judicial system. I have made first-hand experiences with corruption in these institutions. I have, as a matter of fact, read uh, detailed reports about their work, I have looked into the control instruments which are supposed to control and fight against uh, corruption inside these institutions and I have not really anything nice to say. I don't, I don't. And that's why among the entire spectrum of pirate party policies, among these classical ideas, the clear um, like point on which I am going to focus on, on which in my opinion the pirate movement in Latvia should focus is the fight against corruption. That should be the primary goal for the coming years. That's the main goal because that's the main problem. And it goes hand in hand with transparency. With a transparent state. Because state keeps hiding a lot of data. In terms of transparency, there have been some improvements in Latvia. I need to acknowledge that. There have been, been improvements, uh, but it's not good enough. It's not good enough and there are still a ton of possibilities to hide information. A lot of information is still being hidden and that obviously allows corruption to thrive. To achieve the goal, I am going to use more artificial intelligence. This is clearly like the focus for the next years. I clearly see that a very exciting time is coming up on us in the world of artificial intelligence. Uh, I would even talk about an AI revolution and I see very strong AI agents around. I see very many possibilities how these can be used and I want to achieve an advantage over other political opponents by using these instruments to a greater extent. The causes for a deep corruption in Latvian state is the very strong 
left our influences of Soviet Union and of Communist Party of the Soviet Union. There is really still a lot of influence. If you look at the top judges, these have all mostly received Soviet judicial education. You need, don't need to be a big expert about Soviet Union to know that Soviet judicial system isn't like the most honest and transparent and anti-corruption oriented one. But yeah, like in the highest court, the most senior judges have received their education, they, their judicial education in Soviet Union. So yeah, that's, that's a problem, but it grow, goes across the entire uh, like state apparatus. Uh, there are oligarchs who were in the 80s high-ranking Soviet officials, high-ranking Communist Party members. They have gained a lot of wealth, a lot of resources, and they used these resources and this money and, uh, to influence politics. And that's how the state is still, after more than 30 years after dissolution of Soviet Union, still very, very infected with many Soviet era ideas. And I am really oriented towards talking about a non-formal occupation. So formally, Latvia is free, but de facto in reality situation isn't really like that. Like, like formally North Korea, like it's called Democratic People's Republic, like, but in reality yeah, nobody really believes that it's a democratic state with like democratic particip uh, participation, like that's that's not the case. Uh, similar things are going in Latvia. And uh, yeah, the fight against it is really the cause. Uh, to, to, to lower all these Soviet influences, to open like the eyes of, of wider masses how the situation really is. Um, that's the goal, and then probably there will be some opportunities to gain momentum and to strengthen the pirate movement in Latvia. So, looking into future, I need to say I am optimistic. I think things will turn out great. Um, I think this year will be a great year and many exciting things will happen. Thanks you so much for watching.